Hello, I'm Joe Manganiello with your WDT News Week in Review for April 17th, 2015. Today's first story, Howell's poised to plead guilty to federal child sexual exploitation charges. Reported by Brian Kelly on Thursday, Stephen Howells, the Herman man accused of sexually exploiting six girls and kidnapping two sisters from Hugleton, will appear at a change of plea hearing on May 8th, indicating a willingness to accept responsibility for the charged crimes. The attorney of Nicole Vasey, the woman also charged in these crimes, said no similar change of plea hearing has been set in her case. Vasey's federal trial is scheduled to begin July 6th in Syracuse. Driver of SUV killed in crash with truck on Route 11 in Evans Mills. Reported by Ted Booker on Thursday, state police said Douglas Medley, 50, of Watertown, crossed over the center line and into the northbound lane of a tractor trailer driven by Chris Anderson, 50, of Philadelphia. Anderson attempted to avoid an accident by driving onto the shoulder, but Medley struck the rear axle of the tractor trailer. Anderson was uninjured, while Medley was reported dead at the scene. As part of the investigation, Trooper Brandy Gray said police will consider whether the victim could have been texting while driving. St. Lawrence County legislators want the Amish to install orange triangle signs on the back of their buggies. Reported by Susan Mendy on Wednesday, a committee of St. Lawrence County legislators voted 13-2 Monday to request that the state require the Amish to install slow-moving vehicle emblems on all means of transportation used on public roads and highways. The measure is scheduled to be voted upon again on May 4th at the next full board meeting. Some lawmakers said they would support the measure, but have doubts about who will enforce it and whether it could withstand a legal challenge. Former Fort Drum commander named in sexual hostility case. Reported by Gordon Block on Wednesday, a former commander of Fort Drum, retired Lieutenant General Franklin Hagenbeck, is one of two people named in a suit claiming officials knowingly permitted rampant sexual hostility toward women. The case stems from a claim by a female cadet that a male cadet had forced non-consensual sex with her and that a culture of sexual violence and gender discrimination was furthered by General Hagenbeck. General Hagenbeck led Fort Drum and the 10th Mountain Division from August 2001 to August 2003. State's scenic designation bashed by residents at Cape Vincent meeting. Reported by Ted Booker, many have expressed concerns about unwanted side effects that a scenic area designation from the state could have on waterfront development in the Thousand Islands region. The SAS designation is designed to protect the area, but many who spoke out described the process as, quote, unneeded bureaucracy that could prevent development, end quote. And our final story for today, Bill of Adoptee Rights gained support locally and across the state, reported by Eli Anderson on Wednesday. Bridget Gordonier had almost given up hope of ever speaking to her daughter, 35 years after she was born. Quote, I lost all hope. I knew I would never see her again, Gordonier said. In March 1978, Gordonier made one of the most difficult decisions she would ever make, to place her daughter up for adoption. To finish this story and to find all of our other stories, head online to watertownedailytimes.com or find us on Twitter at WDT News. And you can find us on Facebook searching the Watertown Daily Times. Well, for your WDT News, I'm Joe Manganiello.